What is up everybody? My name is Justin French, covering music for those who care, and right now I'm taking a look at the new album from Hailstorm. This one is entitled Vicious. So Hailstorm is a band that I got into in 2013. I had picked up Avenged Sevenfold's Hail to the King along with the self-titled record. Number one, because it was super cheap at my local Best Buy, and two, Hailstorm was a name that I was familiar with in the rock scene, but I didn't really listen to very much of their music, so I bought it kind of blindly, thought, why not? And ever since then, I purchased the record, listened to it on the radio, and I've enjoyed them ever since. There's not a single moment that I remember skipping over on the first record, and even whenever I do come back and listen to it in 2018, I still find really great enjoyment in that record. And then in 2012, we got The Incredible The Strange Case Of, which is my favorite record from them to date. Definitely mixes a bunch of really great darker and heavier moments on that record in the form of tracks like the Grammy winning Love Bites, So Do I, Freak Like Me, You Call Me a Bitch Like It's a Bad Thing, Miss Hyde, and I Miss the Misery. And in case you couldn't tell, the band likes to release every single record every three years, like Three Days Grace. But in 2015, we got Jay Joyce produced Into the Wildlife. And to me, that honestly was a bit of a disappointing record. And something I was looking forward to. And also, in my opinion, definitely their less memorable record. Now, I did enjoy the singles leading up to the release of the record, but after listening to it, there are some songs I still come back to, but it's not a record that I play very much. So, whenever I heard that, the band was trying to go for more of a heavier sound this time around, and also working with Nick Rasky Lennox who's worked with other bands such as Seether, Corn Lacuna Coil, and Alice in Chains on the last couple of records. P.S. I'll be getting to that new Alice in Chains album very soon. I was a bit excited to see what direction they would bring. So, number one, is it a step up from Into the Wildlife? And two, what are my thoughts on Vicious? I do have to say that I do think that Vicious is definitely a step up from what Into the Wildlife had to offer as a whole. And the difference that I definitely do see between both these two records is that I feel like Vicious is definitely the more consistent of the two. It kind of goes back to that hard rock sound that made them a very popular name with the first two records that they had put out compared to Into the Wildlife. And for me, while I did see that Into the Wildlife was kind of going for more of a mainstream approach to it, it kind of felt like a scatterbrained record just because it kind of went into different styles. Like... I don't know why this is just me sick individual kind of sounds like a pink song it kind of fits more of her style dear daughter feels poppy as hell with the nice piano lines but that's pretty much about it and new modern love just really kind of confused me with those twangy guitars uncomfortable was released as the first single here from this record and whenever i did the reaction review to that song i did praise it for it being a return to that hard rock sound that they had been very well known for on the first couple of records. Now, if I did have a small little complaint about the song still, I would say that the lyrical content could have been fixed up just a tiny bit. But other than that, I love the guitars here on this track. They sound really energetic. And Lizzie's vocal delivery does not fail to impress me at all. And I still do enjoy that little middle part. I don't know why, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Radiohead tiny bit like uh that middle part of paranoid android for some odd reason but again that's Black just me. vultures to me hands down has to be the best track that is on this record and what i love about this track is the atmosphere that it brings it definitely feels more darker it feels a bit apocalyptic no pun intended and what i also love about the song is the lyrical theme being about mental strength and you can definitely see that on that really infectious chorus. I won't give in. I don't give up. I won't ever let it break me. I love the guitar lines here on this song. Definitely a bit heavier with a bit of blues. Tiny bit. The bass in the background just booming away. And I love the drums here on this track. If I did have a small complaint about the song is that this is the first song that is on this record. This is what kicks the record off. And it's already my favorite, so it kind of made me nervous listening to the rest of the record. Conflicted is a very interesting yet weird song to kind of talk about. Because I really like the guitars here on the song. I love the switch up of the acoustic guitars in the verses and then the loud guitars in the chorus. But honestly, Lizzie's vocal delivery on this track just kind of feels a bit weird. 
it kind of sounds like a Gwen Stefani kind of song. And honestly, it does kind of fit her voice a bit more. And another interesting thing about the song that you probably didn't know is that Charlie Puth actually had a co-write for the song. From what I had read, he was working on stuff for his last record, Voice Notes, and in case you wanted my opinion on that record, I'll probably cover it in my uh, upcoming uh, Albums I Missed video that I'm going to be doing soon. I did think that it was a step up from his first record, but there are some slight problems I still have, so overall, not a bad record. Anyways, supposedly he was working on stuff for his last record, Voice Notes, and he didn't finish this up, so somehow it ended up in Hellstorm's hands to finish up the writing. And supposedly they didn't even know until close to the time of the album's release that he had actually co-written the song. So I found that to be very interesting. Now, there are some themes that I am finding here on this record that fill up a good portion of this record. And they come in the form of Survival, which comes on tracks like... Black Vultures, which I'd already talked about earlier, the title track, and Killing Ourselves to Live, which is kind of talking about no matter how far Hailstorm goes, even if they fade into obscurity, they pretty much still have each other. And I love the guitar licks and the solo here on that track. Pretty fantastic track, honestly. And that's a small little complaint I do have about this album, too. I really wish there would have been a bit more moments where the guitars had really shined through, especially the lead and the solos here on this album. And then you have other tracks on here which kind of talk about sex a little bit in the form of Do Not Disturb, which was a single here from this record. And I do like the bluesier vibe that it brings here to this record. And then you also have Conflicted, which I had already talked about. And then you have another track which is closer to the end of the album, White Dress. And it's not a favorite of mine by any means, but I do like the lyrical message. It's kind of talking about not being what other people want you to be. So I find that to be interesting. Again, not one of my favorites here on this record, but nice concept. So another song that I'm definitely not going to be coming back to here from this record besides White Dress is most likely going to be the track Buzz. I'm really not a big fan of it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of I Like It Heavy from the last record. I'm not too big a fan of the verses, and the chorus to me just feels like a copycat of something else by Seether from their last record, Poison the Parish. So overall, I do think that this record is definitely a step up from the last record, despite there being a few clunkers and more desire for lead guitar work here on this record. I do think there are going to be some songs that I'm definitely going to be pulling into my playlist from this record. So anyways, y'all, my rating here on this album is going to be a strong 6 out of 10. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on Vicious. What did you think of the album? Definitely comment in the comment section down below. And anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video.